Hello everyone, thank you for coming to this talk. Today I'm going to talk about our novel solution for better real-time string-based hair rendering with ray tracing. My name is Si Hao Fu and I'm a software engineer at Tencent. Before introducing our methods, I would like to talk about some background information about real-time hair rendering. Decades ago, because of the limitation of GPU horsepower, hair is usually modeled as something called hair cards, which is basically mesh-based structure, and it uses opacity map to make it look like a collection of thin hair fibers. This kind of hair modeling technique is quite simple, and it is generally more efficient for rendering, but the visual quality isn't good enough. But in recent years, strain-based hair is becoming more and more common, which is modeled as thousands or even millions of curved segments. Because its representation is more close to natural ones, the visual quality is much better than card-based hair. But it requires more GPU power to rasterize millions of thin triangles to the screen, which is quite demanding for even today's high-end consumer graphics cards. Because rasterizing thin triangle strips is quite slow, we start to think about using NVIDIA's RTX technology to take the place of rasterization. With the hardware accelerated ray tracing, we want to find out whether we can better trade off performance and quality in hair rendering, or more precisely, whether we can achieve better performance by avoiding heavy rasterization work while maintaining the visual quality. This is the current hair rendering pipeline of Unreal Engine 5. It uses rasterization for vBuffer and deep opacity map. When there are a lot of segments, the rasterization of vBuffer and deep opacity map is quite slow and it becomes the bottleneck of this pipeline. And this is our pipeline. Instead of rasterization, we use ray tracing to compute vBuffer. In addition, we developed a new method to improve the efficiency of deep opacity map by using the result of primary ray tracing. Finally, we use spatial temporal filter to deliver final results with high visual quality. There are three main aspects included in this talk. Firstly, I will introduce our efficient DirectX ray tracing based ray strain intersection method for vBuffer computation. Secondly, I will talk about our faster rasterization based deep opacity map with primary ray projection culling. Finally, I will introduce effective spatial temporal filter for maintaining image quality with low sample counts, even at one sample per pixel.